Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to If on a Winter's Night for Travelers, a pixel art horror point and click game that I found on itch.io as have been multiple games that I've played on the channel. I'm very excited about this one, it looked really cool. It has four acts, so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to be splitting this into four different videos. Each act, each story, each character will get their own. And so this is going to be a mini-series, if you want to put it that way, of four videos, each one detailing each act of the game. So, we're going to start today with Act 1. I have absolutely no idea what to expect. It's uh, about basically like a winter's masked ball uh, going on on a train in the 1920s. And it just looked really cool, and I'm very excited, and I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as as I am sure to enjoy it myself. If you would like to check the game out for yourself, of course, I'll always leave a link in the description below. If you want to follow me on Twitch and any other social media, I'll also leave the links down below. Remember to leave a like, share, subscribe if you are new around here. It's absolutely free and you can always change your mind later on. And remember to always and forever ring that cowbell. Now let's get on with the video. February 1929, somewhere in Central Asia. Okay. Ooh. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, I say. I'm very excited. I love point and click games. And just the pixel art is just a whole other vibe here. Okay, man, so you're a drunk young man. Is everything all right, young man? You seem agitated. Are you not enjoying yourself? This is all very posh, by the way. Oh, yeah, yes, it certainly. It is a lovely party, indeed. It's all very posh. It is, isn't it? Uh, such a delightful costumes and the music. It's exquisite. Everybody's gonna have the same damn posh boys. Oh, but what are my manners? My name is Lila. I'm Carlo. Pleased to meet you. Um... Sweetie, what is wrong? I can tell there is definitely something on your mind. <laughs> Making myself laugh. Are you looking for somebody, darling? Oh no, it's just a dumb... I know it sound, it's must sound peculiar, but... Um, I can't seem to be able to recall how I got here. Uh, okay. What did you mean, darling? Surely you must remember something. Well, I was at this hotel room in Rome, and that I do remember. Um, Rome? What a beautiful city. Are you on a vacation, darling? In a way, I was there to meet with my, uh, Pramu. Pramu, I don't know what that is. I was waiting for him to arrive. To arrive. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, Act 1. The Silent Room. Okay. Oh, there we go. Ah, beautiful Rome. So glad to see you again. Still as majestic as decadent. This was the 20s, by the way. <laughs> and of course, as loud as ever. What time did Patrick say he would arrive? I'm sure I left his telegram around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. My shooting star, thrilled to see you. Please check in at the Grand Roma. Everything taken care of. We'll be there around noon. Love, Pete. He's thrilled to see me. Thrill, oh my. This is going to be rough. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I move now? Oh. Oh, I had to pick. Okay. He's thrilled to see me. Be still, my beating heart. I had to pick. The I didn't notice I had to pick that. I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror. Make sure I look presentable, darling. And also check if room service delivered the flowers I ordered. Everything needs to be perfect. Okay, so now I can move. Uh, chest of drawers. Socks, underwear, a couple of shirts, and that Rolex Patrick gave me at the first party we met. I'm sure he will like me to wear it. Alright. There, so fancy. Um, phone. Secretary. Thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Yes. Uh, where's the bathroom, though? Oh, there's one. Room service? 
One of the greatest inventions of humankind. All right, this is a very fancy ass room you got here. Oh, that scenery changed though. Hmm. Oh, the radio. That's even a radio in the room. A radio. This place really has everything. You're gonna turn it on. Hmm. I wonder how this works. I think I better leave it for Patrick. Hmm. I wonder how this works. Oh no! What have I done? You turn it on, dog. Just turn it off. Oh dear, what a relief. Just turn it off. <laughs> Whiskey, gin, birdmouth, amaretto, campari, of course. Hmm. Is that limoncello? Oh, we got fancy booze up in here, actually. Better not leave the room. Patrick should be here any minute now. But where's the bathroom, though? I'm looking for the bathroom. <laughs> this is so vague. Where the fuck is the bathroom? Oh, it's... Oh, I didn't know. I didn't see this. Okay. There we go. Hello. Take a step in the middle, man. You lucky, handsome devil, you. You really had the jackpot this time. What is he the one? The real one. Can you imagine? Having to mum and everything. Ah, he's kind of British, huh? Okay, you know what? We'll cross that bridge when and if we ever get to it. For now, you just look just dashing, young man. Gorgeous! Gorgeous. Well, well, well. I'm sure this towel costs more than what I make in a month, probably. <laughs> The level of poshness. There was even a, like a fucking bidet in there. All right. So what do I do now? Uh, oh, I have to check if the flowers got here, don't they? Which is <clears throat> Whatever flowers this man ordered. There you go. Great. The room stuff is delivered. But I should move them somewhere else when they stand a little out. I stand out a little bit more. Uh, the metal of the table, I suppose. Like the metal of the little living living room that is, oh, <clears throat> I'm choking on the poshness. The metal of this little living room that this fucking hotel room has. There you go. Here's a card to my one and only. Ah, he's going to love it. Well, I hope so, man. You seem to be going through a great deal of effort. All right, now um, checked everything. Done everything. I'm so tired from my trip. I just want to take a nap. But Patrick should be here soon. Maybe we can call room service and have breakfast in bed. Oh, that would be delightful, darling. Um. Anything else I have to do? Before he gets here? <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Been there, done that. It's just a toilet, dog. Alright. Nice. Little wink to the camera. Now where is Patrick? He should be here. I don't have anything else to do, if I'm not mistaken. Better not leave the room, Patrick. Yeah, well, Patrick is not here, though. Thrill, thrill, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, there's nothing else I can do around... Oh, wait, nope, never mind. You certainly can't buy good taste with money. Okay. Doesn't seem like you've got much money, anyways. Uh, it just reminds me of that party. Actually, I don't remember that much about it. Just that there were togas involved. Patrick loves the whole Roman Emperor aesthetic. He'll never admit it, but I'm sure it's part of the reason he lives here. Ha, <laughs> Mercani. Oh! Is that the phone? Oh, but no, it's still was it. Patrick? I feel like this man's Italian and I'm just making like a weird ass British accent. Are you Patrick? You look old. Carlo. Aw, gay love. We love to see it. Patrick, so happy to see you. Look at you, it's been too long. I've missed you. Me too. I'm so happy you made it all the way here. So, how do you like this place? You mean the room or the city? Both are quite excessive, darling. The room, pretty fancy, isn't it? Very much so, especially that painting, of, especially that bathtub. <laughs> Very much so, darling, especially that bathtub over there in the bathroom. I can assure you you've never seen anything like it. I'll take your word for it. Have you ever have you seen there's a radio and everything? You try to find some music. Oh, it did cross my mind, but feel free to f if you want. Don't mind if I do. There. Isn't that nice? That's static. Oh, there you go. But you really make the most of this amazingly equipped pot I see over there. If only in solidarity with my fellow Americans suffering under the grip of the Vosslet Act. 
Oh yeah, 20s prohibition. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Are you serious? It's not even noon yet. Are you serious? It's not even noon yet. Day drinking. What the hell are you talking? Hey, what about it? It's perfectly okay to have a cocktail before noon. It really is more of a time of day for biscotti. In bed, perfectly, with tea. Come on, Carl, let's have some fun. No way, tell me what's going on in your head. Oh, messed up the voice there. Wouldn't you want to know? Well, you have to ply me with liquor. Okay, okay, fair enough, darling. Good, what are we waiting for, then? This man's really trying to drink in the afternoon, like before noon. What the hell? It's morning. So one for Patrick and one for me. The static is like... Bugging me. <laughs> Salute. Cheers. Nope. Just puts the cup away. This man... Okay. <clears throat> So, shall we move this to the bedroom? Oh, oh, by the way, these flowers are for you. Those flowers are for you, darling. Oh, they're absolutely lovely. And look, they come with a card, darling. To my one and only... Charlie, Carlo, I need to tell you something. Want to sit down? I'm fine here, thanks. Look, Carlo, we can't keep doing this. Oh, come on, man. I'm sorry. Why? Don't you like me anymore? <laughs> what do you mean I'm not your baby? Come on, Carla, you know it's not that. He's gonna be Southern. I like you, but this doesn't mean that I, uh... Look, you know just as well as I do that it wasn't meant to last. Don't play dumb now, please. I'm not playing dumb, darling. I truly was starting to believe we were made for each other. You bastard. And where exactly did you get that idea? Well, in your telegram, for example. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you the one playing dumb now? Here, let me get it from the other room and I'll show you. You're exhausting, Carlo. Am I exhausting? You're the one trying to dump me in this nice little hotel room here in nice little room. You're the one trying to dump me and shit. Uh, give me the telegram. Here it is. Thrill to see me, he said. Undisputable proof that he loves me. My shooting star. I see. How can I be so naive? Thrilled to dump me. That's what he was. Thrilled to dump me. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but it, it sounded funny in my head. <laughs> Your shooting star, of course. Fleeting, a passing glimpse. And then, con. Is that how you justify it to yourself? I'm just some crazy adventure. I see the hand movement. <laughs> or did the deuce put the fear of God in you? It's not that. And it has nothing to do with you. Okay? It's just wrong. Uh, I'm sorry, Carl. Oh, don't go back on the gayness. Wrong? How can this be wrong? Darling. Sure that you don't mean that. The only thing that's wrong is having to hide it. But things will get better one day. They have to. I don't know about that, dog. <laughs> Look, I don't expect you to understand. But I have read these articles, these uh, medical journals. Oh, come on, man. Don't bring that shit in. Carl, there are doctors. They can help. They have this new ther- Oh, God, Jesus Christ. No, thank you. I'm going to tell my- Oh! There we go. I'm going to tell my wife everything. I know she'll support me. She and I will uh, go through this together, discreetly. This man was married. Okay. Bastard. I know we will be forever we'll be stronger for it in the end. And you should think about it too. I read about this hospital near Turin in a collegno I guess that's how you say it. Carlo, they can fix you. Oh, they he brings out the fix. Oh no. Patrick, no, not you, please. I'm speechless. You're such a coward. You're such a coward. I don't know what I ever saw in you. Damn. Stupid me, thinking you cared. But no. I am just a symptom of some illness to you. Oh god, this guy really, this guy really heavy. A boil, a sister you can just cut away. Oh, please, Carla, cut the drama. Have a wife. Have chill. Oh god, I have children. Okay. This is what a man does. Period. 
Oh man, a snake is what you are. Spell me this, cause just get out. A snake is what you are. Oh man, no, no, no. But of course, you're the businessman after all. Hmm. You're just maximizing benefit. This enterprise has turned risky, so you walk away. Yeah, the innuendos. Okay, I don't have to put up with this. I mean, you decided to come here. Shut the hell up. Please call room server and order me a taxi cab. Do it yourself, motherfucker. I'm not doing shit for you. We're done here. I'm done with you. We're just done. You really have some nerve. <laughs> yeah, call one yourself. <laughs> you have some nerve. Do it yourself, motherfucker. You want a taxi cab? Call one yourself. Okay, fine. I'll ask for one at the reception desk then. Yeah. Off you go. Get the hell out of my sight, you posh motherfucker. Calling a Sanders looking motherfucker. This is what I get for trying to make things easier and a loser like you. Wow. Goodbye, Carlo. Go back to Turin. It's over. Yeah, that's right. Just walk away. Some nerd you have me calling me a loser. Some nerd you have calling me a loser. What is what you call someone who keeps throwing his family's, mali family's money away? My tongue got twisted, rather. Chasing who knows what or who. Seeking just one chance up between two legs. Wow. Calling you a loser is actually pretty forgiving. You should smack him, Carlo. Just smack him in his fucking head. Move away, Carlo. I'm done with you. No, I'm done with you. Well, I'm not done with you, darling. You heartless bastard. Oh! Uh... I mean, yes. Good thing that you smacked the shit out of him, but maybe you smacked him a little bit too strong. Maybe that was a bit too much, my friend. Right, so how are we doing this? How, how are we hiding this body away? We don't have anything to cut him open. Just saying. Okay, well, um... Shit. Oh god, Patrick. Oh god. Um... Shit. <laughs> Can't run out like this. I need to think, I need to think. I need to wash my face. Alright, um... So I assume those are his brains splatter all over the floor. Ah, hell... That's unfortunate. My car is... What? What happened? Why am I standing here? I was on my way to the bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need to calm down. It said something. My car... Something, something. My car is something. I couldn't finish reading it. It was backwards, though. What am I going to do now? Everybody's going to know. Everybody here knows my name. They know who I am. There's no way out. There's there's nowhere I can go. Oh god. There really is no way out, is there? Calm down, Carlo. Calm down. We got this. I am sorry. I never wanted this. Forgive me. Wherever you are, please forgive me. We'll fix this. Don't worry. Oh. What is this? An envelope. It's an invitation. To some kind of mask ball? RSVP not required, so this is supposed to be a, a mask? It slithers. Oh. And next thing you know, I'm here in this train. With a drink in my hand. Oh, Carlo, sir. Now, this all feels unreal, like a strange dream. Like I shouldn't really be here. Ah. Oh dear, what a terrible experience it must have been. I'm not surprised that you're feeling disoriented. I, I am, actually. <laughs> that man was hanging from a news. Excuse me, I am so sorry to interrupt. Uh, not at all, what is it, darling? Darling. <laughs> Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not. Please go ahead. Thank you so much. 
Jesus, Lord. <laughs> I've been looking all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. Alright. I'm quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, yet nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. Right. Do you have amnesia as well? And what does your husband? What does your husband look like, uh, Mrs. Winterborn? Valerie Winterborn. My husband is Henry Winterborn. Surely you must know him from the papers. Uh, no, actually, no. <laughs> Not that it would matter here. Just saying. But I am confident that if he were around, I would have recognized him already. Right. Do you remember the last time you saw him? Of course, it was... This is embarrassing, but I am... Um, not quite sure, sure right now. It's alright, dearie. What do you remember then? It was raining. The slow vanishing... Sh the slow vanishing... Vanishing of Lady Winterborn. It seems like we have reached the second act. So we are going to be leaving this for the next time. As long as she stops tossing and I can pause. There we go. <laughs> Never mind. That doesn't, that didn't work. Okay, that did work. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be leaving this one for the next time. As I said, I'm going to be doing four. Uh, different videos on this so I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys are excited for the next three chapters uh, judging by how the first one went it's going to be a doozy <laughs> but I'm really excited I love it I really like the style I really like the, the storytelling so I'm quite uh, happy with it so I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys are looking forward to it <clears throat> I'll be very quick to upload the second episode with the second act that's the vanishing of miss valerie here is going to be upon us so as always remember to leave a like share and subscribe if you are new around here it's always absolutely free and you can always change your mind later and always and forever remember to ring that cowbell i'll see you guys in the next one love you